Hi everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video and in this one I am sharing a page in the small white journal um, that really didn't end up how I thought it would. Um, so here you can see I'm just adding a piece of plain collage tissue paper over the spine. That's just to reinforce it a little bit and just give it a bit more strength. Now I'm going in and adding some white gesso onto my page um, just to prepare the paper ready for starting. Then I'm using some of Dina's collage tissue paper just to get some um, pattern onto the background. Um, this is a great way to just get rid of that white blank page. This is a great way to make a start um, if you feel daunted by that big white page. Just get some collage paper down and it makes a good starting point. So this is some of Dina's. Um, it's one of the patterned ones. I'm going to be sticking it down using some of Dina's ultra thick gel medium. So then I started to paint a rainbow type of shape onto my page and I'm going in two colours at a time, picking up those two colours on my brush and I'm going to sweep that across in an arc shape like that and just pull those colours across the page. Um, not particularly worrying too much, they seem to blend in some places and not in others but that's okay, that doesn't matter. So I started off with ruby and tangerine and then lemon and lime washing my brush and drying it off in between each um, new color just so that there wasn't too much um, mixing because I didn't really want to get to the point where I was kind of making muddy colors so trying to keep those colors as true as possible so then just going in with those next because you can see on the right the yellow kind of disappeared a little bit so I did go in with a brush and just um, smoosh a bit more yellow through there then I'm going in with turquoise Adding that on as well. And finally, Blackberry. So I've probably said this before, but sometimes when I sit down to do some journaling, I have a rough idea of what I want to do and sometimes I don't and so with this page I kind of knew that I wanted nice bright colours so I thought okay I'll, I'll go with rainbow colours make a start with that and then it was about this point here where I started stenciling this over the top using the lattice stencil from Dina that I kind of thought mm, okay this isn't going how I thought it would and um, yeah sometimes that's kind of like the spiral then but um, as ever, using the masking technique was a way to kind of rescue it. So I'm using carnation paint through this stencil with the blending tool. And um, then I had a bit left over on my sponge, so I kind of went around the edges of the page a little bit. Then I'm going in with one of the coaster stencils. And for some unknown reason, I chose to use night. I have no clue why I did this. But anyway, I did. And then look, what am I doing? Spreading it around the edges of my page. I have no no idea. Um, now I'm really thinking, oh my gosh, I don't like this. What on earth have I done? But I suppose it's quite an interesting background. There's lots of colour, there's pattern, there's different layers of interest. So if you get to this stage with a journal page, you can easily rescue it by uh, masking through the page and just creating those calmer areas where you've got the colours on your background peeping through, um, but you've got those areas of rest as well. So this is the Funky Silhouettes uh, stencil and mask set from Dina Wakeley. Um, and these figures are really cool. I love the fact that they are a little bit quirky, a <laughs> little bit abstract. Um, this one was quite tricky to hold in place, I ended up uh, painting my finger as well. And of course you'll notice that I go for an odd number of uh, figures on my, on my page um, because that just creates that kind of balance as well. 
And then I'm just pulling that black across the page just so that they aren't just sort of stuck all on their own in the middle of the page. Um, and then I wanted to kind of blend the black out into the rest of the page. So using my little dotty stamp worked quite well for this because it kind of just helped to blend that black out a little. Um, then once it was dry, I'm just outlining those figures with some really, really sketchy lines um, using a black gel pen. Um, just to kind of outline those and make them stand out a little bit more. So then I'm using the same dotty stamp but with some white paint and just to go along the bottom of the page. So those figures are almost, it's almost like they're emerging out of the fog, I don't know. It, I find it fascinating watching my videos back when um, I'm editing because I kind of think, why on earth did I do that? Um, and then I'm just using some splatters as well just to pull those uh, dots out a little bit further. And you can see that kind of creates a bit more of a blend, really, from the bottom of the page moving up. So masking really is a great technique. It's a great way to rescue a page. And then I've kind of calmed the rest of the background down by adding a little bit of um, night with white over the top of it. Now I'm using the neon paints and I'm just adding a tiny little touch using my finger. And I'm just going in and adding a little bit of brightness to some of these figures. Um, just smooshing the paint on with my finger and you can see that really does just kind of brighten those up a bit too. So I've used the neon orange, pink and yellow. So then, of course, you've got to add hearts onto figures. This is something that I do like to do. This is some of Dina's washi tape, which I've nearly run out of. Goodness only knows what I'm going to do. Once it's gone, <laughs> I'll have to actually cut hearts out myself. Um, this is a really nice way to just bring, bring another element onto your page when you're using figures and faces is to add a little heart on there too. And then I am writing my quote along the top of my page. So... In a way, it's a good job that I'd calmed that background down at the top because then it meant that my uh, quote would stand out better. So I started off with quite a thin Posca pen, um, but I did end up going back in with a thicker one because this one just really wasn't cutting it. It wasn't standing out well enough, um, but it was OK to mask at uh, mask to map out goodness begins with the same letter completely different word to map out where i wanted my letters to go um equally so you could go in with pencil first if you weren't sure about going straight in with a pen um, but like i said started off with this thin one and then went in with a thicker one you can see i'm going back over and over where i've written um i was obviously getting a little bit frustrated that it wasn't showing up very well but I don't think that's the fault of the pen. I think it's the fault of the background because it was quite busy. And this quote is, let every situation be what it is, not what you think it should be. Um, yeah, I, I am a bit of a person who likes to fix things. I like to fix problems and sometimes you just can't. And that's really hard when you're a sort of person that wants to make things right for those that you love. Um, and it's a lesson that I am trying to learn. And so that is kind of where this page came from, really. This quote was just absolutely perfect. It kind of smacked me between the eyes when I found it. I was like, goodness, that's me. Um, I really sometimes try to fix things in the way that I think is right. And sometimes that's just not the right thing to do. You need to stand back and go, no, do you know what? I really do believe that more often than not, things work out um, for the best. And um, obviously not in every situation, but on the whole, they do. And actually by worrying about it, trying to fix it, trying to sort it, so more often than not, you actually can't change the outcome. Um, 
So this quote was absolutely perfect for me. Um, so here I am going in with the thicker pen. It stands out better. I wasn't really happy with my writing on this page, but do you know what? It didn't matter because the page really spoke to me. Um, and so from that point of view, that was OK. I was happy with that. And then finally, I just went in with some neon pink um, splatters. I do find this neon paint from Dina is quite hard to water down. Um, but once you do get it loosened up a bit, it works really nicely for some splatters on journal pages. And that was pretty much it. So a journal page that didn't kind of behave, which was, of course was just my fault. It wasn't the fault of the journal at all. It was... Uh, my fault going in with the, the odd stenciling choices but here it is i hope you found some inspiration from this video so thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon